If you have recently applied for social security disability benefits, the family member or friend that you listed as someone who knows about your condition may have received a third party function report to fill out for you. My name is Caitlin Wildoner and I'm an attorney who helps disabled clients obtain their disability benefits as quickly as possible so they can focus on getting better. Today, we're gonna to talk about the third party function report and what it means to your social security disability case. The third party function report allows Social Security to better understand your conditions and how they impact your ability to function on a daily basis. It allows for a trusted third party to explain to Social Security what they see you deal with on a daily basis and to distill what your medical records and doctor's notes mean for you personally. Because it's important to always act honestly with Social Security, I often say that this form is an opportunity for a third party to provide testimony without having to go before a judge. The form covers what you do from the time you get up in the morning until you go to bed at night. Do you care for other people or other animals? Does someone help you care for those people or animals? Are you able to get dressed, bathe, handle personal hygiene tasks like brush your hair, brush your teeth, shave? use the restroom. Can you feed yourself? Do you need help with that? Can you prepare your own meals and snacks? What kind of meals and snacks do you prepare? How often? How long does it take you to prepare those meals and snacks? Has your ability to prepare meals and snacks changed since the onset of your disability? What about housework and yard work? Do you do any household or yard chores? Does someone else have to come over to help you with that? How has that changed since the onset of your disability? As you can see, the questions that are included in the third party function report cover a wide range of topics, all focused on what are you able to do. When filling out the form, it's important that your third party be as honest as possible. They should not overstate or understate your limitations as Social Security will often compare the responses to the medical records to make a determination on whether they think those answers match what they would expect based on the records. Also, if the third party doesn't have knowledge about how you handle a specific situation, they can put that they are not aware, especially if they don't know how you bathe because they don't live with you and they aren't there for that part of your day. Thanks for watching. If you're disabled and unable to work, click the scheduling link below or give us a call directly for a free consultation where we can discuss your case and see what I can do to help you.